Particularly Hispanic people have always been a part of my life, in school, in my personal life, everything. Um, and it, I don't understand, I mean, I know it happens, I, I just don't understand the feeling of uh, racism towards Hispanic people. And, you know, I've been around their families and everything, and, and it's never been, it's just normal, it's just an extension of my, my normal white upbringing in the eyes of the law in the eyes of the government everyone should be treated equally and, and fairly so that that's what I see it obviously that's not always the case but that's you know it's an ideal we got to be more Mexican than the Mexicans and more American than the Americans all at the same time. Our teacher asked us, like, what are you excited for, for this new year? And I said, you know, my dad's finally going to move home. And then he said, oh, that's nice, your dad's moving home. Is he done selling drugs in Colombia? Which just, I, I felt like someone had punched me in the face. Like, start paying us, like, pay us right, and I was like, yeah, like, if not, we're going to sue you. And the lady was like, you can't sue me because if you do, I'll deport you guys. And they look uh, over to towards my dad, and they they notice his his waraches, and they clearly begin to laugh. And she said, "Oh no, honey, I just wanted to let you know that I'm gonna get what I want. And do you want to know why?" And I was like, "Why?" She said, "Because I'm a white woman in America." Well, I came here as an immigrant, and I think it's been um, great, you know, coming from Mexico. I think we don't have like the same opportunities like the people who are born here. You know, we have to work extra hard. And I thank my dad and my mom for bringing us away here because, I mean, obviously we wouldn't have, you know, we wouldn't have what we have right now if we would have stayed in Mexico because in Mexico, it's, everything's so different over there. I was actually one of those students who had their testimonies um, there, so I think it was a great opportunity to hear other students. We actually recorded these as a group and we were all in a circle. So of course, like we cry together, you know, like it does like make us think about our families. We think about our own experiences when we first like started hanging out with people who didn't understand who we were. They saw, always saw us as foreigners. You know what we need? Just more people that are diverse, having that conversation with those that aren't. But if the presence is not there, we will never achieve our goal.